Hello, and welcome to Introduction to Optimization. This video shows how to perform a simple box volume optimization with Python using scipy.minimize. Imagine that we have a box, and we want to maximize the volume by changing the length, width, and height of the box. At the same time, we want to make sure that the surface area of the box stays less than 10. This is a fairly simple problem to solve directly, but let's see how we could solve this using optimization. First, we define the equations that describe our box. The volume can be defined by multiplying the length, width, and height. The surface area is calculated as 2 times the length and width, plus 2 times the length and height, plus 2 times the width and height. Now, let's see how we describe this in code. Okay, so here we are in Python. I'm using the spider IDE here, but you can use whatever IDE you're most comfortable with to do this problem. The first thing we're going to do is import numpy, and from scipy optimize we're going to import the minimize function we'll be using in a minute here. Next, we're going to define a function to calculate the volume of the box given the length, width, and height. We'll define that volume as the length times the width times the height. We'll also create a function to calculate the surface area of the box given these same values. Next, we'll create an objective function for optimization. This is the function that our optimization is going to try to minimize. However, we want to actually maximize the volume. So in this case, we'll return the negative volume. By minimizing the negative volume, we'll actually maximize the volume of the box that we're getting. We'll also create define a function that returns our constraints. In this case, we want our surface area to be less than or equal to 10. So the way scipy defines that is as 10 minus the calculated surface area. Scipy also requires that the constraints be loaded into a dictionary. So we'll do that here. We'll say that we're creating a constraint of type inequality and the function um, of that constraint is our constraint function here. We'll set initial guesses for the length, the width, and the height. We're going to set those all equal to 1 for now. And we're going to load those into a NumPy array, uh, which we'll call x0 here. This is our initial guess for those three values. Next, we're going to call scipy minimize to solve our optimization problem. So there's a few parts to this call here. Uh, we're saying solution is equal to minimize. We're giving it our objective function, as we defined up here. We're giving it our initial guess of what the length, the width, and the height are going to be. We're telling it we want to use the SLSQP solver. This is one of the only solvers in SciPy that can do constrained nonlinear optimization. Uh, so we'll be using that here because we have a nonlinear constraint. Okay, we'll tell it that our constraint function is equal to this dictionary of constraints that we defined earlier. And we'll just tell it to display the results as it finishes. Okay. Next, we will retrieve the optimized solution. The xopt here will be our optimized box size and our optimum volume here. We'll calculate the surface area um, just to double check that we stayed within the boundaries of that surface area using our optimized size. And we'll go ahead and print out the results. So let's go ahead and run this code here and see what happens. All right, so it says that our optimization terminated successfully, so we were able to find a successful solution. And we see here that the optimum length, width, and height are all 1.29. So we have a cube here. The maximum volume is 2.15. And the surface area is 9.999999999, uh, which is close enough to 10 for our purposes here. Great, so that's a demonstration of how to set up and solve a simple box volume optimization using the Gecko optimization package in Python. Just to review, the steps we went through were first, describe the system. Next, we modeled the system using equations. We defined an objective function. We wanted to maximize the box volume, and we defined the constraints. In this case, that the box surface area had to be less than or equal to 10. Then, we optimized the objective function, given the constraints, to find our solution. 
Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please follow these links for other videos on optimization topics.